Good day viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking on nutrient interactions. Now have you ever been in a situation where you are taking supplements or you are trying to obtain a nutritional need from a particular food group, yet you are not getting positive change? Nutrient interaction is the reason for this. Now nutrient interaction is when a nutrient affects the absorption, the utilization, as well as the bioavailability of other nutrients. Let's take, for example, an athlete who performs physical activities and requires calcium for his bone maintenance. Now, when these athletes keep taking calcium but do not take sufficient vitamin D for the absorption of this calcium, this person wouldn't get a positive result from this calcium. Why? because there is no adequate vitamin D for the absorption of calcium in the small intestine. So, are you seeing how nutrient interaction has affected this athlete from getting positive results from consuming calcium, which he's supposed to? If you're here and you're meeting me for the first time, I am Open on the Look Chiamaka, and in my channel, I talk on nutritional education or topics, lifestyle modifications, as well as healthy diet. If you're someone that is so conscious of your health, you want to know how to improve your health through nutrition and also modify your lifestyle, you are the right place. So do well to join the family by liking and subscribing to our channel and also sharing this video to many other people that need it. For the course of today, I'm going to be talking on nutrient interactions. What way nutrients can affect other nutrients that pose the negative results of this nutrient. Now, if you're ready, let's begin. Now, our objectives are meaning of nutrient to nutrient interactions, examples of nutrient interactions, and complications as a result of nutrient interactions. Meaning of nutrient to nutrient interactions. Nutrient to nutrient interactions means ways in which different nutrients interact with each other in the body. These interactions can affect nutrient absorption, metabolism, utilization, and excretion. It is the effect of a nutrient on other nutrients bioavailability, and bioavailability in this case include two important components which are absorption and utilization. Absorption is the process by which a nutrient moves from the intestinal lumen into the body, while utilization of the absorbed nutrients means transportation of these absorbed nutrients to various parts of the body, assimilation by cells, and conversion to biological active forms. Nutrient to nutrient interactions may affect bioavailability either in positive or negative way. That is, it may either enhance or inhibit nutrient absorption or utilization. High or low levels of one or more nutrients may affect bioavailability of other nutrients. These interactions can affect all the other major categories of nutrients, that is, your proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Understanding nutrient interactions is crucial for optimizing nutrition and promoting nutrient deficiencies or imbalances. Now moving over to the second objective, which is examples of nutrient to nutrient interactions. There are several types of nutrient interactions that can occur in the body. These examples demonstrate the intricate relationships between different nutrients and highlight the importance of consuming a balanced and varied diet to ensure proper nutrient interactions. Here are examples of each type. 1. Enhancement of absorption. 2. Competition for absorption. 3. Synergistic effect. 4. Antagonistic effect. 5. Nutrient transformation. 6. Enzyme activation. 7. Nutrient excretion. 1 enhancement of absorption certain nutrients can enhance the absorption of others for example a vitamin c enhances the absorption of iron from plant-based sources 
Vitamin C also facilitates absorption of a number of other micronutrients. Each meal should contain a good source of vitamin C to optimize utilization of other micronutrients. B. Adequate protein intake may result in vitamin A absorption. C. Consuming fat with fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin D or vitamin E enhances their absorption. D. Various protein bind and carry certain vitamins and minerals including iron, copper, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin D and fats. Therefore, inadequate protein intake may impair the function of these nutrients. E. Vitamin C enhances the absorption of non-hem ion, while meat, which contains hem ion, enhances the absorption of non-hem ion as well. F. Adequate tryptophan, that is an essential protein intake, helps in the absorption of vitamin B3 absorption. G. Vitamin B6 is required for proper absorption of vitamin B12, and deficiency of vitamin B6 has been shown to impair vitamin B12 absorption. 2. Competition for absorption There can be competition between nutrients for absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. For example, A. High calcium intake may inhibit the absorption of iron and zinc. B. High fiber intake can reduce the absorption of minerals like calcium, iron and zinc. C. Excess vitamin A interferes with the absorption of vitamin K, a fat-soluble vitamin necessary for blood clotting. D. Excessive amounts of folic acid, however, can hide a vitamin B12 deficiency by masking blood-related symptoms. E. High doses of manganese may inhibit the absorption of iron, copper, and zinc. Alternatively, high intake of magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, iron, copper and zinc may inhibit the absorption of manganese. 3. Synergistic effects Some nutrients have a synergistic effect meaning they work together to have a greater impact than if consumed individually. Examples are A. Vitamin D and calcium work together to promote bone health. B. Carbohydrates present in the body require thiamine, that is a vitamin B1, for their metabolism. If you have no idea on what thiamine is all about, I made a video on all you need to know about your nutrients, where I explain all the essential nutrients, their sources and their functions in the body. I will leave that in the description box. Do well to watch it for easy understanding. And don't forget to like, subscribe as well as turn on the notification bell to get notified in our next video. C. Adequate intake of dietary fat and zinc is necessary for the absorption and utilization of vitamin A because vitamin A deficiency causes anemia. It is believed that vitamin A impacts the metabolism of iron. D. Adequate supplies of vitamin B1 can help increase level of vitamin B2. However, very high level of vitamin B1 intake can increase the loss of vitamin B2 in the urine. That is why a balanced intake of all nutrients is advised. 4. Antagonistic effects Antagonistic interaction occur when one nutrient can interfere with the absorption or function of another nutrient. Classical examples are A. Excessive intake of dietary zinc can reduce copper absorption, leading to copper deficiency. B. High level of dietary phosphorus can interfere with calcium absorption and balance. C. Phytates from cereals and vegetable food bind minerals, particularly calcium, vitamin D, and iron in the bowel and reduce absorption. D. Dietary fiber reduces the absorption and or increases the excretion of several minerals, including calcium and iron. That is why it is advised to take your dietary fiber or even fruits and vegetables when your food is fully digested, not immediately after eating. E. The presence of excess fat in diet decreases thiamine absorption. 5. Nutrient transformation Some nutrients can be transformed or converted into different forms in the body. Examples are A. Beta carotene found in fruits and vegetables can be converted into vitamin A in the body. B. 
tryptophan and amino acid can be converted into niacin, a B3 vitamin. C. Vitamin B1, B2 and B3 must be present in adequate amount to enable folic acid to undergo metabolic recycling in the body. 6. Enzyme activation. Certain nutrients are necessary for the proper activation of enzymes in various metabolic pathways. For instance, A. Vitamin B, that is thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin to be specific, are essential for energy metabolism as they act as coenzyme in enzymatic reactions. B. Magnesium is required for the activation of a variety of enzymes involved in energy production. 7. Nutrient excretion. Nutrients can interact in the process of excretion as well. For instance, A. Excess intake of vitamin C can increase the excretion of certain minerals such as calcium, magnesium, and copper. B. High sodium intake can increase urinary calcium excretion. C. Diets high in simple sugars increases the urinary excretion of chromium and rob the body of some of the chromium it needs. This takes us to our next objective, which is the complications as a result of nutrient interactions. 1. Calcium and iron interaction. Consuming calcium-rich foods or supplements can interfere with the absorption of iron in the body. This can lead to iron deficiency anemia, especially in individuals who have low iron stores or increased iron requirements such as pregnant women or individuals with heavy menstrual bleeding. 2. Vitamin K and blood thinning medication interactions Vitamin K plays a crucial role in blood clotting while certain blood thinning medications such as warfarin work by inhibiting the clotting process. An excessive intake of vitamin K through diet or supplements can counteract the effect of these medications and increase the risk of excessive bleeding or clot formation. 3. Zinc and copper imbalance. Zinc and copper are trace minerals that compete for absorption in the body. Consuming high amounts of zinc or long-term zinc supplements can cause copper deficiency. Copper deficiency may lead to anemia neurological symptoms, impaired immune function, and bone abnormalities. 4. Vitamin C and certain medication interaction Vitamin C in high doses can enhance the absorption of certain medications such as iron supplements, certain antibiotics, and statins. These interactions can increase the risk of toxicity or adverse effects of these medications. 5. Potassium and medication for hypertension some medications used to treat hypertension such as ACE inhibitors or potassium sparing diuretics can increase potassium levels in the body. Consuming high amounts of potassium-rich foods or supplements while taking this medication can result in high blood potassium level, known as hyperkalemia, which can be dangerous and lead to abnormal heart rhythm or cardiac arrest. Cease Vitamin D and certain medication interaction. Vitamin D supplementation can increase calcium absorption in the intestine when combined with certain medications like thiazide diuretics or corticosteroid, which also increase calcium levels. It can lead to hypercalcemia, that is, high blood calcium level, and increase the risk of kidney stones or calcium deposits in soft tissues. In conclusion, Understanding these nutrient interactions is crucial for maintaining a healthy and balanced diet. It is recommended to consume a variety of nutrients from different food sources to ensure proper nutrient absorption and utilization. So family, you have seen how one nutrient can affect the other and you have seen how it poses either positive effects a negative effect on that nutrients. So please guys, do well to adhere to this nutritional education and try to get the best out of this nutrient. And don't forget to like, as I said, subscribe to join the family and also share this video to other people that also like to get positive results from their supplements or that have one or two nutritional needs. And with all this, I'll see you all in my next video.